The company, always talking about the next big thing, is trying to pioneer what could be the next big trend. Hey, it's Josh Vergar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And it's time to unbox and give my first impressions on the Samsung Galaxy Round. And here it is, the Samsung Galaxy Round. As you can see, the box is actually fairly large. This is still a large phone, despite its new feature of having a curved display, and that curve goes from left to right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the actual device. You can already kind of see that there's a concave on there that, if I was to go like this, it does rock back and forth. Ooh, that feels actually not as weird as I expected it to feel. I expected to have a very, very odd feeling when I when I picked up this phone because I mean the curve, it's not necessarily something we're very used to yet in the space. Here is a micro USB 3.0 charging cable, an adapter or rather an AC plug that has the 2.0 micro USB on there. And it's not detachable, so this is a dedicated one. And then after that, what we have here is a battery charger. So you already have a spare battery, as you can see right here. That's an interesting development. And the, actually, and the second battery actually comes in a case. That's pretty cool. So what we have here is a secondary battery charger that you can have in order to get extra power out of here. And then finally, we have our earbuds here. Samsung devices do typically come with earbuds and this one in particular has controls in line and just a quick look there you go there is your curve you'll see the curve there and it does make a phone of this particular size this is a pretty big phone um, fit pretty squarely in your hand pretty comfortably oh and also the back is that textured plastic that is a great addition that Samsung it looks like Samsung is going to keep that from the Note 3 which was a big success in terms of the material choices to go right over there so I hope there is a charge in this battery let's see it's still a light phone it still feels pretty freaking light in your hand and that's that's really interesting nonetheless it does actually look like a pretty nice phone uh, it does look pretty Pretty, actually that's the word that I wanted to use there. Galaxy round. Now after doing the quick setup there, I will admit that you do get a little bit of a shake there. I'm not sure if you can hear the rattle when I'm pressing on either side of the screen, but nonetheless, the shake is very minimal. Um, it, it's noticeable, but it's minimal, and it really doesn't hinder from the typing experience, not one bit. You know, full disclosure, I was actually really expecting to take out the Galaxy round and think it was, well, pretty weird feeling. After all, a curved display is pretty somewhat new when it comes to the smartphone market. It's not something we see every day. Definitely pretty rare. However, the Samsung Galaxy Round with its rounded back that is made of that textured plastic that we all loved from the Note 3 actually made this phone pretty damn comfortable. I have to I have to admit, it's really, really nice and it feels really good in the hand. Um, that, con that, that, that curve on the back definitely makes it just sit really snug in your hand, in the curve of your palm. It just feels really, really nice actually. And on top of all of that, I'm not too sure how it even was, was, was achieved, but it's really, really light. Uh, for a phone that is about this size, um, you know, we're seeing a lot of bigger phones out now these days. This is probably one of the lightest ones I've ever had. Handled. I'm very, very surprised. For such a large screen like this, having a bit of a curve does allow you to feel like you can reach more parts of the screen. Now that's a nice thing, and of course Samsung really wants to drive home the idea of the curve by adding in transitions between the home screens and the app drawer screens that sort of push back a little bit so it actually looks like it's going across that curve. Uh, it's a nice aesthetic choice, but in reality the main th takeaway here is with the curve that you have right there, it does allow you to reach more parts of the screen, even if just a little bit and incredibly subtly. Now, as is the case with plenty of Samsung devices, we do find that the new features that are introduced in particular phones uh, do tend to 
bring up the question of whether or not they're practical. In this case, I looked into the settings and there are a few new things that you can do. The quick glance is the one we probably all know about already. When the phone is on a table and you just tilt it forward a little bit or to its side, it will give you a small screen that shows you a quick glance at all of your notifications. Now that is arguably pretty useful and the other functions include changing the track in the music player uh, by tilting left and right and uh, a couple other functions after that. Uh, I do think that there could be more possibilities opened up by taking advantage of the curve, but for now we're just seeing uh, just a certain particular amount. So maybe in the next iteration of the Galaxy Round we'll see even more. But for now, we're going to see what the features inside of this particular phone uh, mean for the general user in our full review coming soon. We're going to see how the rest of the phone fares in our continuing coverage of the Galaxy Round, so stay tuned to Android Authority. Don't forget to follow us on social media and to follow me in the links that you see right below. And to drop us likes on our videos, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and then stay tuned and share our videos out because we're Android Authority, your source for all things Android.